in modern industry. They open for all diversity, not only one beauty standard, only one face, or they open, for example, like my face. In my hometown, they always make fun to my face. Like, um, I have square face, I have fresh nose, but I never fight with them. I just smiling, keep calm, and just tell inside of myself that, okay, one day I will prove to you all that this face will make me proud of it, but I don't know when. Pilaiwan Pimpulat, also known as Pili Opal, is a Thai model who challenges Thai beauty standards and has made her way to success on the international stage. Among her most notable works is being one of the models for a global campaign, Respect Fragrances, by world football star David Beckham. Born in the northeastern province of Udon Thani, Pili revealed that she wasn't born into wealth and therefore she helped her parents by selling coconuts on the streets. Despite that, Pili strives to find the best opportunities for herself, whether it's her education or following her dream as a model. One huge turning point for Pili, which shot her to fame, was when she posted her story on Facebook many years ago, describing her journey from a coconut girl to a runway model, which exploded with thousands of likes and shares. This eventually led to an unexpected opportunity to become a model in a global campaign. And in that time, Thai people from Australia and London, they sent me um, my video advertising at the airport, at uh, billboards in London that, oh, that's you, I'm so proud of you, you're a Thai model, we are so proud of you. And that's me feel like, oh, I feel, I feel warm in my heart that Thai people everywhere always welcome and, and support me. Before she found success as a model, Pili was bullied for not fitting the traditional Thai beauty standards. Back when she was young, Pili was often teased for having a square face, dark skin, and a skinny figure. Such features were not considered beautiful in the eyes of many Thais. Regardless, Pili was never discouraged and is still proud of herself and her facial features, which she describes as exotic and unique. It's not because of I feel not confident in myself. I always feel proud of myself, proud to be this face. But uh, it seemed like people around me that time repeat me, like repeat, repeat, repeat again. That made me have a question that what's wrong for me to respond for this face? Because if you not believe or encouraging yourself, nobody believe in you. So I decided that, okay, no matter no, nobody believe in me or bullying me, I need to only one best friend who always be with me all the time is, is me. So when I get bullying, oh, you have jaw, jaw face, square face, you are ugly. I say to myself, it's okay, Pili, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. Nothing is impossible for Pili. You're gonna be fine, you will be okay. After gaining much experience, Pili established her own modeling academy, including her own agency, promoting models who do not fit the typical beauty standards. This, she believes, will inspire many other people and ultimately put an end to bullying and discrimination. This mission is important to Pili, not only because of her past, but she strongly believes that everyone has their own beauty and charisma. Model industry, they not open only one beauty standard. They, they think about model is like artists. So, um, like a flower. If you have only one color of flowers, I think this world maybe going to be bored because only race color. So, if you are, if this world have many color of flower, that's make world look colorful of life. So model industry made me feel like that. Despite being successful as an international model, being a modeling coach has truly fulfilled her. 
as it has paved the way for a new generation of models to succeed on the international stage. Peely is also proud to see her students, who once doubted themselves only because they do not fit the beauty standards, achieving their success in their respective careers. When I was a little girl, like 10 years old, I say like, I want to be a teacher. Because being a teacher, it's like you give opportunity to people. You want to see some, someone or some people to have better life. Being a model, okay, is my dream. But there are a lot of young people in Thailand who still don't know how to start international model. So I found there's not many in Thailand. So that's why I keep both between work life model and work like teacher and both of two things like this that fulfill um, inside of my heart. Just um, be the best version of you, the best version that what you do and what um, and who you are, that's the key word. Just respect yourself first and always believe in yourself. I always tell myself like nothing is impossible for Pili. So do you, nothing is impossible for you. That's what I want to say.